Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? This, you guys are supposed to be in astronomy? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so I was just telling these guys that my name's Dr. Jackson. So I'm a physics professor at UT Arlington. Uh, so I teach physics there, and I came here to teach you guys some astronomy stuff. Okay. All right. So the, what I want to do today is just explain a little bit about what astronomy is and what astronomers do and who can be an astronomer, okay? All right? And so at the end, I'll, te I'll tell you all about everything you want to know about astronomy. And at the end, we're going to have, I'll have you guys draw some pictures of stuff that you want to learn about, okay? What is astronomy? Do you guys know? Yes. What? Um, it's a study in the science of space. Yeah. Exactly, man. You hit my bullet point number one. So what is astronomy? It's the science that studies outer space, right? Outer space is anything that we can see out in the night sky or even in the daytime sky when we can see the sun, right? That's outer space. The sun is a star. Sun is a star. You beat it's me. It's a medium-sized star. Oh, my gosh. You guys are beating me to all my – this is all the stuff I was going to teach you guys. You already know it. Um so why do we want to study outer space? So we can look for life outside of Earth. Yeah, there's so, so many reasons. Utopia is one of the hot spots because it's like really, it's got water and people can see that. People think there's heat that is down there and that there's life around there. And then we take samples so we can study them and look for more life. Yeah, that's one, yeah, that's one, yeah. Yeah. And they said that they found some kind of um, some kind of life on Mars, I think. Mm -hmm. They yeah. found some type of weird water substance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're finding like um, different things, and yeah, they so they found water. And, and they're finding blueberries on Mars. What? No. Yeah. That's what they call I think it. blue. Oh, that's what they call it. Yeah. It's not real blueberries. Wait, so yeah. there's life okay. outside of Earth now. Well. Sort of. Sort of. It's not. It's still the kind of. We don't, we're not sure, right? Yeah. Well, this is a big thing for space. Yeah. Because if it's a blueberry, it comes from a blueberry. <laughs> yeah. It's alive. Yeah. Yeah. It's a living thing. Yeah. Technically, a lot of people disagree with the yeah, Antarctica. Yeah, but that. So, so you guys named all great reasons why we want to study outer space, but there's one big reason, and it's because we are in outer space, right? If you think about it. We are on a planet. Planet that has life. In yeah, the solar system that we know of, exactly, right? So it goes like this. We live on Earth. Well, first we live in Texas, right? Then we live in the United States of America. Well, then we're on Earth, right? The Earth goes around the sun, right? We already know that the sun is a star, right? And it's not any special star at all. So this is a picture of what we think our galaxy looks like, right? The Milky Way galaxy. And it's made up of billions and billions of stars, right? Which means and billions and billions of planets and galaxies. Yeah. Because each star, because each star has planets around it. When the when the thing when the planets all end and stuff, that equals a galaxy. Each time it ends, there's a new galaxy born. And did you know that the Big Bang is still creating galaxies? I did know that. And well, then, that's stuff well, we're going to talk about. And then once it stops in a parallel universe, it's going to come in, <laughs> stop, it, and crush all life yeah. and planets, and then it's going to happen again. Do you know what that's called? Rebirth? No. It's the Big Crunch is what they call it. Uh, well, that's never happened. Yeah, well, we've sent, we've sent, we've landed probes there. We've landed robots, right? So you just, there's different ways that you can land a rocket on, onto a planet. Yeah, but how do you enter to it? How do I what? Enter. Enter it? It's just like you would enter Earth, right? It just has an in atmosphere. You just go. If, if you are going to, you're going to fall to it. No, you'll land on the surface. It has a surface just like Earth has a surface. Wait, yeah. if they launch drones, why drones? Why don't they launch humans? Because they, they, co they cost a lot of money. It does. I yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that was 
I suck it up and get some money. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I was little, I used to think the Milky Way was that the Milky Way was actually made out of milk. Yeah. Well, that's why it's called that because when you no, see it in the night sky. No, that's why it's milk chocolate way. Milk chocolate way. Well, yeah. it's Milky Way with milk chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so so that's a that's the kind of the big reason that we want to study space is because we're in outer space, right? So what kind of stuff do astronomers study? Well, they study planets. Like, what planet is that? Um, Saturn. Saturn, right? They study galaxies. Right. They study, they study stars. The, the solar system. They study stars. Galaxies. They study stars. Star, star stuff. stuff. And they anybody, what's star they stuff? Do anybody know what star stuff is? What? Um, heat waves. Um, the that thing that fire launches. Star um, dust. Black spots on the sun, stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah they could be called star stuff. What I'm talking about is the gases and dust. Hydrogen and um, helium. Exactly. Hydrogen, helium gases, dust. Stardust. All that stuff. Because that you stuff. You mean this What's that? Yeah, the same helium that we use in balloons. Yep. Um, but it's the stuff that makes up stars, right, and makes up planets, right? Galaxies. And they also study galaxies, galaxies, clusters of galaxies. Do you know what clusters oh, of so galaxies? Those little star things. Basically. Yeah, but these little star things. Oh, is they not? They're not. They're not galaxies. galaxies. It's like they, they, they look like something because they're just lying. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. So these these guys right here are are galaxies themselves. So they're th this thing, right? So this thing is huge. But it's a cluster. It's a group of galaxies. All right, so that's some of the stuff that astronomers study. And then what they study is, uh, they also study the structure of the universe. The universe is everything that we can see. No, they don't. Well, you can't see parallel universes, so they don't study those. Yeah, yeah. So that, that would go into this stuff, the solar system, right? So here's the asteroid belt. And then out here is the Kuiper belt. A lot of people have heard about the Kuiper Belt. That's cool. They think that's where comets come from. Exactly. Right? No. So what are the kind of stuff do they study in the solar system? What's this top thing here? The sun. That's the sun. Supernovas. Right? Yep. That, well, that's outside of our solar system. So they study the sun. They study the solar, solar wind. wind. Do you know that's what's... That green thing. Yep. So what, what happens is the wind, the solar wind is not like the wind on a windy day. There's no wind in the solar system. Right. But... The sun gives off particles, right? And this, these particles, this stream of particles is called the solar wind. And those are important because they can affect our satellites, right? The satellites that control our phones and GPS and all that stuff. Airplanes, exactly. Yeah, and it can affect airplanes, exactly. Planets. Planets. What planet is this right here? Jupiter. 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 That right? big red spot. This yep. has been going on it's for 300 years. years. It's 300 times the size of Earth. Now. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Hurricane. Yeah, that's what it's like, a big hurricane. Moon. Moons, right? They don't just study our moon, which is cool, right? They and it's study own. Jupiter's moon. Yeah, Saturn. Ju Jupiter has tons of moons. Did Saturn you know has it's over 60 for that are now. Yeah. Did moons. you know that even though there, even though that there are so, even though that there has been so many landings on the moon, yeah, our moon, it's not the most famous, the most recent study one. It's actually Utopia, one of Jupiter's moons, because it might have life on it. Right. Yep. Yep. Asteroids and comets. Asteroids and comets. And interplanetary dust. Cool. What is interplanetary dust? dust. Planet dust. Yeah, it's like dust. It's like dust that's in between the planets. That's what inter means. And it's stuff. It's the stuff that made up asteroids and the moons and the planets and eventually the sun too. Yeah. But Did you know the biggest asteroid actually has a moon that goes around it? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, the uh, it's a big potato shaped one, right? Yeah, it's huge. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about it. Okay, so that stuff that was stuff they can study in the solar system, but they also study stars, right? This first, this first one right here are called variable stars. Has anybody heard of variable stars? Constellations. Oh, they, 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 they do more shiny ones. Yeah. So they're the, they get really bright, 
and then they get really dim. And they get bright and they get dim, right? So people want to understand why they do that. Binary systems. Who knows what binary means? Satanary. What does binary mean? Binary means the stupid code that no one on earth can understand except the people who are Navajo code talkers. No, 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 not that binary. Binary means two, right? So it's a system of two stars that live together and they orbit around each other. And a lot of times they can exchange gases, right? So people study binary systems. They study all the different types of stars. Right? So stars can be like our sun. Yeah, our sun which is, just a, is um, middle aged. Middle aged, medium sized star. Right? Or there can be very small stars like red this sun. red dwarf. Every or there can be giants like the red giant or red the giant. blue white super giant. Okay? There's all different types of stars they study. Right? One interesting thing that people study is how do stars die? That's a supernova. They run out of gas to produce themselves, mm -hmm. and then they, they just explode. explode. Yep. Well, they shrink, and then they explode. Yeah, but that de that depends. Who's That's there? just only for one particular. I've seen a supernova happen during night. Um, we were camping out because we knew it was about to happen. We were just looking. We had a bunch of snacks, and a picnic we were going to sleep outside that night. Yeah. And we saw the supernova, and the next thing we know, it affected the other stars. It really did. Wow. It kind of shut them out for a second, and then they came back. That's amazing. Um, uh, when I saw a big guy, I saw a big Phil. You thought they what? Phil. Phil? Phil. Fail. Fail? Well, oh, oh, you mean uh, they, when they fall? Yeah, those are actually, they, they're, they're, they're called shooting stars, but those are actually meteorites. Those are actually these guys hit the earth, okay? Just like they just look like a star, but they're not really a star. Yeah, that's what they think, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, we found the asteroid. It caused so much damage, um, but no one was alive back then. There, we found the asteroid, and then we had Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, found, I found it in, one, um, in the book 100 of the Worst Natural Disasters. It was in there. Wow. Mm -hmm. they die. Um, all of the dust and all of that, it, um, it takes millions of years, though, but it so creates a new star. star. Yeah. Yeah, it that's where we... I've also seen stars. the rebirth of the star. Yeah? Cool. It's cool. Seen it all, yeah, man. you're just looking at it. We knew it was about to happen because um, the news was already talked about, so uh -huh. we did the same thing again as the supernova. We're just looking and looking. We looked at this dark, empty spot because... We thought the star would appear there, and then two minutes after we focused on the spot, it appeared to be like that. Whoa, cool, cool. Actually, so yeah, so 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 one of the things astronomers do is study how stars die, right? And what you guys were talking about is one particular kind of way that they die, right? That's for like these super big giant stars. Those are the guys that explode into supernova. But then there's stars like our sun that just kind of fade out. Hold on, hold on just a second. No, you're right? Okay. See, what happens is the sun, what, it kind of gets bigger and yeah. then it melts all our planets. And then what it's going to do is it's going to shrink into what we call a white dwarf. Right. And then eventually it's just going to kind of, uh, it's going to get so small it kind of just disappears, like pops out. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen. Right? So it depends on... How a star dies depends on how big it is when it's alive. Um, also, they could just, um, you know, all those dark spots, they yeah. can get a lot of those, mm -hmm. and then they just fade out. Fade out? That's, yeah, that's one, I guess that's one one possible way, right? That's, that's only possible. happened to, like, two stars in our universe that we know of. Mm. But another thing that's interesting is not just how they die, but what's left. Right? What kind of skeleton do they leave behind, right? Black holes. So one of those is black holes, right? Everybody loves black holes. 
right? And, but other things are like neutron stars, and then like what he was saying, our sun is going to become oh, a white I, dwarf. See, look, that the black hole is so it has so much force from the acceleration mm -hmm. of a four D object with a three D shadow that even the light can't escape it. Exactly, exactly. It's That's so strong. Much force like, I want to know what a neutron star is. Oh, well, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. And if, if a black hole is going and a person's next close to it, you get sucked in. And black holes have never happened near Earth that we know. No. Um, there's a black hole near our universe, and scientists are studying it, and they say that it's going away from our universe, but like it's curving. Uh huh. But so it's um, so it's not really going to affect our universe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, most of, the black, most of the black holes that we know about are very, very, very far away, so we don't have to worry about it. Like, like two black billion light years away. Stars yeah. Like yeah, I'm going to talk about it in just a minute. In just a minute, I'll show you a picture of that star. happening. So well, another thing that astronomers study is star stuff, right? And star stuff is interesting because it's clouds of gas and dust, just like the clouds that we see up in the sky. Right? So these things are called nebula. Right? And what, what do you, anybody know what happens in nebula? Cigar nebula. What? Um, stars are forming. Stars are forming, right? That's the place where, earlier. yeah, that's the place where stars are born, right? And so you can see in these pictures different regions where there's stars being born, okay? Stars are turning on. Anybody know what this one's called? What's it look like? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? It looks black. It looks kind of, what's it the thing, like a cow, a what do cowboys ride? A horse. A horse, right? So it's a horse, it's called the horse head nebula. Oh, can I say something? Yeah. Most nebulas are named on how they look. Right, exactly, That's what. that was my I, point. I'm calling I that have Monopoly astronomy, and there's like, so, Geo Nebula, Cigar, Galaxy, oh, yeah. Cigar Galaxy. I'm calling that a Minotaur. A Minotaur? Like a okay. All right, so you named that one the Minotaur. Okay, cool. You can call. That's the cool thing about astronomy. You can call anything you want. Right? So they study galaxies, but there's not just one type of galaxy, right? So there are spiral galaxies. That, that's what the Milky Way looks like. The spiral galaxies are kind of like when you flush the toilet, right? When you flush the toilet and the water goes down in a spiral. Like a squiggle. Yeah. Like that, right? And so that's one type. There's also elliptical galaxies, which don't really have spiral forms. They're just kind of lumps. And stars. they also have e They're just kind of like budget. Yeah. Budget. Mm -hmm. And we have, what else? Active galaxies. So this is, this is what we were just talking about. So in the middle of this guy is a supermassive black hole. right? And what it's doing is it's eating all the stuff that's, that's close to it, but what happens is all the, as that stuff is going into the black hole, it heats up it all the other stuff, that one's the and, it's, and it's shooting out jets of particles. I'm calling that one so, the thunderbolt. So when the black hole goes, it heats up, it's going to blow up, and the light is going to cut it, and it's going to get out. Well, if anything's close, if you're very close to the black hole, you get sucked in, right? But if you're kind of far out, then what happened, would happen is these jets would shoot you out. Did you know that the farthest black hole from um, our solar system is 302,000 billion um, miles away times like a billion? Oh my God, I didn't know that. Did that's that's pretty that? far. That's yeah, pretty, yeah, far. pretty far. Actually, no, there's no times a billion, but that's not far. Right? Yeah, it's pretty it's far. Like yeah. Well, finally, the last thing that astronomers study is the universe. And the universe is everything, everything that we know about. We don't, we don't know. We don't know what's outside. So the universe is everything that we can see. But there might be stuff out there that we can't see. We don't know. We don't know. 
But this, so this is a picture of what we what the what the whole universe looks like in terms of like galaxies and stars and stuff. Okay, so that that's the type of stuff that they study. How do they study it though? What kind of tools do astronomers use? Telescopes. Telescopes. Satellites. Right. The telescope. Satellites. Um, space cameras. Yep. So that's so that's yeah. So that's everything I wanted to say here is that telescopes aren't just the kind that you can buy a target, right? That you can look at and see. I have one of those. Do you? Yeah. But they also come in big. They're, so they're like big cameras, basically, right? Yeah, like that and they, space camera. Right. I have a huge one. Do you? Whoa, that is a good, that's a good one. I have a telescope that can see about 30,000 galaxies away from us. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a good telescope. So they come in, they come on the ground, so that we have ground-based telescopes, we have space-based telescopes. Anybody know what this one's called? Satellites. I've seen those in um, another survey, in Joe, and Joe's telescope. Yeah, Joe's telescope. Yeah, Joe's Oh yeah. So this is a famous one. Anybody know what this one is named? It's a satellite, but it's called Hubble. Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope. And a lot of those pictures that I've been showing you came from the Hubble Space Telescope. It's like a giant camera in space. Right? And so they can see in different uh, in different parts of the light spectrum. So we can see like the stuff that we can see, but they can also see X-rays or gamma rays or um, infrared rays and things like that. The other thing that astronomers use are computers, right? Because you don't want to just sit there and look at stuff all day long. You want to just be able to look at it, take a picture, and then take that picture back to your computer and analyze it. Okay? And so that's how we learn everything fr that from the stuff, the information that we take is using computers. Yeah, technically, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're aliens to other We're aliens to other aliens. Exactly. So who are astronomers? Albert Einstein, Galileo, those guys. Yeah, those guys, right. And who else? Does anybody know who this is? No. That's Isaac Newton. No, close. Kepler. Wait, is that first one Galileo? That's Galileo. This is Kepler. He worked out. He understood how the the planets move around the sun. This is Edwin Hubble. He's the guy that that Hubble telescope's named after. Yeah, he. Uh, so Albert Einstein is not really a was was not really an astronomer that looked at stuff, but he worked out the theory, the math behind things like black holes. The theory of relativity. Exactly. Anybody know who this is? No. Bill Gates. <laughs> it kind of looks like Bill Gates. It's Stephen Hawking. So he's kind of like Einstein. He works on the theory of black holes. Just do a book. It's crazy. Huh? Frankenstein? No, Frankenstein's not real. No. It just kind of sounds like Einstein, but it's he not sounds... real. He sounds... Right? But astronomers don't just look like this. They're not just old, crusty, white dudes, right? With funny uh, costumes, right? They can be women. They can be minorities. They can be anybody, right? Anybody can be astronomers. Right? So who can be astronomers is anybody, right? You could be one. Right? A newborn baby with a third nipple could be one. Oh, okay. Uh, how about what? What do we study? What do you have to study in school to math. to be an astronomer? Math, right? Science. Science. And what else? One more thing. Astronomy. Astronomy. Computers. You got to learn how to work with computers. Okay, that's a good thing to learn. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good way to learn computers. Okay. All right, cool. So that's the end of my presentation. Okay, so we've, we we kind of based on you know touched on everything that astronomers work on, how they work on it, and who can be astronomers. What's my okay, name? I don't know yet. 
I don't have a roster. That's why I need you to write your name on this piece of paper. So that's what. I, that's what. We're... So just guess randomly. Yeah. Is it common name in England? Uh, Jim. I said it's a common name in England. In England, John. You know, I think you should just give up now. William. <laughs> Henry. It starts with a Q. Q. Quinn. Quentin. Quentin. Okay. Well, now we don't need to write it now, but you know it. Okay, so Quinn, how do I spell that? Q-U-E-N-T-I-N. Okay. Yeah, what's, your what's your last name? E-N-O-S. E-N-O-S. Oh, and by the way, I'm Jason. This is me, Quinn. My name is Victor. Victor? Victor what? Victor Crumb. Gonzalez? Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb. Okay. All right, so what I want you guys to do... All right, so what I want you guys to do for the next 15 minutes or so is I want you to come up and get a piece of paper, and I want you to draw something that we talked about or it could be something that we didn't talk about that you want to learn about in this class, okay? So what you want to learn about astronomers. Yeah, everybody share those pencils, okay? Um, well, there's no pencils, and I don't want to Do you have some, Do you have a pencil or, paper or a pen? No. No. All right. Can somebody give Quentin some some pencils? Yeah. I don't share. You don't share. Well, you should bring your own then. Man. You don't have any. You don't have a pencil. I have a pencil. Okay. Can you use that to draw? Yeah. There's no colors. Uh, well, we don't. I know, but we don't have enough for everybody. Pencil. Okay. I also That's have an paper. unsharpened pencil. Yeah, let's share. Actually, hey, what if we want to learn nothing and we just do it like? We could do that, I guess. Can you use? Can you cut in half? Yeah. Oh, uh, or you can just use two pieces of paper if you want. You can use as much paper as you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's pretty cycle. Who wants to hear my birthday? Hey, we're learning about astronomy. This one, huh? That one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Can you? Alright. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, Jim, table.